welcome to this week's weekly Android app review. Okay, the first application we're taking a look at is SignWriter for Android. Um, this is a keyboard application. Um, it is in your average keyboard application. This is kind of like a fully featured uh, keyboard. Um, you can see it's laid out here. You could just um, type normally as you would. And the cool thing about this is um, it's got a ton of features. So, for example, let's click here. Um, say, for example, you, you don't really want to type out the whole word. You could just find the um, symbol that you want. So, you could type in regards or yours or whatever. There's just a bunch of different options. And also, if you don't want to type out your phone number, you might not remember your phone number or email address or any other information, you could just tap here and it will automatically add it in. Um, right now, I don't have any of that set up. So, you can go in the settings and put all of this information in so it would work. And you could enter the details that you want in. And also, you got this like uh, like categories at the top. So if you go here, it shows you all the different um, smiley faces and all the different uh, faces that you could do. You could just add it in like that. Or just tap it and it automatically adds it into the text or whatever you're writing. You go over to clock. And if you want to say, for example, meet someone at a certain time, you could say uh, 10, 20 ish. And then you just kind of do that and it automatically adds it in there as well. Um, you also have days, so say if you want to meet someone at Friday afternoon, you could type Friday afternoon and you could actually type or write full messages um, or text other people just using these symbols without actually using a keyboard or texting or anything like that. It's just a new way for you to text and input um, text onto your phone and it can be a lot easier. Um, also, another cool feature is if you want to delete this uh, all of this text really fast you could just hold it and then kind of swipe your finger across the screen left and right and then it will just delete it um, much faster than just holding it um, overall this is a um, good uh, keyboard alternative but um, it can be a little bit complicated to use since there's like so much features it can be a little bit complicated for you to use but it does come with like a tutorial once when you first set it up explaining how to do everything so um, yeah you could uh, check that out and you can pick this up free from the Android Marketplace. The next application we take a look at is Evernote. Um, this is a note application, but it's probably one of the best um, note applications that you could get right now. Um, that's because um, you, could, you have an account and you can sign into it and you can access your notes from pretty much anywhere that um, you could get hold of Evernote on. So if you have like a laptop or a computer or an iPhone or anything like that, you could easily access all your notes from there, which is really nice. Um, Let's just tap on it and show you. So you could add the note title and you could add the text as well. And then the really cool thing is you could add in pictures, you could add in voice as well, so you could record and add notes. This is great if you're having like lectures or you just want to record some meeting or any just take notes or anything like that. It's a really good application, it's a really fully featured. And yeah, if you go into like snapshot right here, you could take a picture and it saves directly into your Evernote profile and it automatically syncs it up to the server. So you basically have access to it to um, anywhere you can get hold of the Evernote application. Like I said before, it organizes all your notes in uh, one place. If we go back, um, you could refresh here if you want to resync it again. If you go up here, you could uh, make a list like a to do list. So if you go into if you go going shopping or you have Christmas shopping or anything like that you can make a list and just um, organize it a lot better you could also sketch and draw but you do have to um, download an, another application for that to work you could also record audio and take photos so it's it's a really good um, application and a great part about it is you could sync up anywhere um, this is probably one of the best uh, note, applic note taking applications if you haven't tried it already go pick up it's free from the Android marketplace the next application we're taking a look at is Osmos. Um, this is kind of like a really soothing and relaxing game. Um, you have your this uh, circle, and you just have to try um, tap in the opposite direction that you want to go to try and kind of collect those little bubbles. And when you collect them, you get a little bit bigger, and you have to try get a certain size for each map, depending on what it is. And if you do hit those red ones, you do die, like I just showed you there. But as the game, as you're playing through the game, it has this really like relaxing music, so it's not like a fast-paced game. So let me see if I can show you. Let's try get some of these ones. 
and e e also each time that you tap as well you do kind of get smaller and the objective is to try to get them um, as big as possible and not to shrink down um, there's a uh, 72 levels I think you need to get through before you can do try the other ones but um, it's a really uh, good game and you just have to try to get as big as possible collecting these blue ones and trying to avoid the red ones like on this level right now there's like like we're stuck in an orbit and you just have to try and get them just try not to hit the edges or any of the uh, red ones it can be a bit slow paced and boring but each level um, brings new things new obstacles to try and avoid and stuff like that but anyway this you pick this up free from the android marketplace this application we're going to be taking a look at is northern mobile security and this is a great application to prevent you from getting any spam malware viruses on your phone or anything like that um, this is the light version so you are limited in the amount of features they could use um, you could set up scans you could scan up um, like schedules if you wanted to scan daily weekly or monthly um, you could also scan for your SD card um, you could scan right now if you want to so you could scan at any time and also as you're installing applications it automatically scans the application to make sure it's not any um, spam or malicious uh, application you could detect that straight away and you still have anti-theft um, which you could set up and also um, this is since it's the light version you're only limited in a few amount of features that you could use these are all the new features um, you get if you were to upgrade um, so you could get web protection, calling, MSS blocking, uh, web lock and stuff like that um, is it worth upgrading? I think it's pretty expensive. It's about what you had to pay for your normal PC antivirus. So it is kind of pricey, but if you think it's worth it, um, you could go down all this to, and upgrade to the full version. But I think it's alright having just the mobile version, the light version for now, just to you know, have like the basic protections in place for your Android phone. But anyway, you could pick this up free from the Android Marketplace. Next application we're taking a look at is Ceramic Destroyer. Um, I've been playing this game for a while and I've kind of got hooked on this game a little bit. What you have to do is just kind of fire it and just destroy the object or whatever shape is up there. And you have to try to get 90% or more in order to progress onto the next level. Like for example, um, these do have um, different abilities. So you could tap and it separates into three. And then you can just go around and explode in the ceramic object just to, you know, destroy as much as you can it's not just as it's not just simple as just firing it and blowing up some levels you do have to be a little bit more tactical in how you do it so you can't just fire it you need to do it in a certain way in order to destroy the object um, there are a bunch of different levels you could play through and as you progress um, there's like um, new shapes and stuff let me show you the next level it's got a light bulb here this one you could tap tap and they're like little explosives so show you this you have to try to use the right amount of speed um, right amount of power when you're launching it just to try get the maximum amount of effect this is a definite application you have to um, try out for yourself um, you can pick this up free from the Android marketplace and the last thing we're going to be taking a look at is the live wallpaper I'm just going to get that loaded up the live wallpaper we're going to be taking a look at is this one um, it's a really nice wallpaper, it kind of has these like lines going down and it changes colour all the time so you have blue, purple, green, you know, just change the colour all the time um, it's a really nice uh, wallpaper if you're looking for a great change you, pick it, you can pick this up through from the Android Marketplace um, that's about it for the weekly app review leave your comments below, recommend me some more applications for the next video and uh, yeah, that's about it, thanks for watching